All right, this video is on FX Impact. We're going to cover the valve stem adjuster and uh, particular parts you need to be aware of before you're taking this apart. And uh, one two issue I had when uh, removing this piece here. All right, there's a hex head on top. Usually it's 11 mil, but it fits too loose. If you go to 10 mil, it just won't fit. So kind of a loose fit. A loose fist fit. Even you use uh, American size 7 16th, it'd be looser than uh, 11 mil. And you're trying to, if, th if this was on tight, you end up kind of stripping it. All right, then uh, you end up using a vice grip or something. And you snap this piece off, this hex head. Because this O-ring groove is pretty deep and uh, the wall is kind of thin. And, and one time I snapped this off because uh, it was on tight on the action. Snap, it came off. So what I did was I made one with aluminum bronze. And uh, to make it beefier, uh, without making that weak point, I just put a hole here. Come out this, uh, I just using the... Uh, an Allen or something to fit in there, tighten it and remove it. All right, so be careful removing this. All right, make sure it's really tight fit around the hex. Maybe get a really precision uh, adjustable wrench, get really tight on there. If you start stripping it, well, your wrench going over it, then uh, it's going to look ugly. All right, <clears throat> another part of it is is your ball inside your uh, hammer rest this is what it bumps on this is the rubber ball it's duro 90 so it's pretty hard precision ball if you really look in there if you, you shoot a lot you'll see a little indent where the hammer keeps hitting so it's, it's kind of a weakened area so what you do is to make it the uh, you know, back to normal uh, stock form. And you just kind of rotate the ball to the other, to the other side or beside it to get a, a harder surface again. All right. Easy to remove this ball is to remove this screw. Get something in there to push the ball out. The ball usually is greased from uh, stock form, but uh, I usually leave it dry because I don't want no movement movement in there. Well, that absorb a lot of impact so you just kind of press it back in all right sometime with no grease it's kind of hard to push in all right all right if it's not just put on a flat surface and push it in all right and uh, you shoot this couple rounds till uh, this ball settles in. All right. Then you tighten your screw back on. The screw is to prevent this uh, this thread bushing from moving. All right. If it, that bushing moves, then uh, it's hard to remove this off and on. We get something uh, it'll rotate without this without this being tight or loose, it's still gonna rotate. When it gets in this o-ring, it doesn't uh, move anymore. Okay. Catch the next video.